All right. Good afternoon. The Committee on Education, Air Transportation, and Statistics Research and Planning will now convene this public hearing. It is now 2.07 p.m. and for the record and in accordance with open government law, public notices were sent out via email to all senators and stakeholders and all main media broadcasting outlets on March 11th and the second notice on March 13th, 2019. With me today is uh, my Vice Chair for Education, Senator Amanda Shelton, Senator Tello Taidegui and Senator Kelly Marsh Taitsno. Thank you, Senators, for being here. The purpose of this bill, of this public hearing, is to hear Bill 44-35, which is an enact to amend subsection 30, 3133 Bravo 5 of Chapter 3, Title 17, Guam Code, annotated re relative to removing the imposition of fines for members who attend Guam Department Education Financial Supervisory Commission meetings. In our current law, 17 GCA, Chapter 3, Subsection 5, it states failure of the EFSC to meet in any month shall result in a $250 fine for each member, which shall be deposited into the GDOE inter Interscholastic Sports Program. Uh, to date, from tracking from June 2013, just, just so my colleagues know, there have been, in June and August, there have not been any quorums met. In July 2014, October 2014, and December 2014, there was no quorum. And in 2017, July and November, there was no quorum. So this is just to address the specific specificity of this law. Uh, in turn, this to try and make it a, a little bit more fair and equitable that those members that are not present from the EFC meeting should only be fined and not the whole um, committee as a whole to be fined. And so in the bill, section two, we are amending subsection five, failure of the EFSC to meet in any month shall result in a $250 fine for each member absent from an EFC meeting. The fine shall be imposed on the absent member for every meeting missed that resulted in a lack of quorum. Such fines shall be deposited into the GDOE Interscholastic Sports Program. So that is the meat of the bill, really, to bring some parity to the law and to, instead of, um, it's almost like a penalizing those that are present as well. So we wanted to uh, give an opportunity for the public to speak and also my fellow senators to examine this portion of the law and to see to seek reconsideration for those only that do not attend that impacts the negativity of not having a quorum. Do we have anyone to give? Okay. An observer. Okay, I'd like to thank Mr. Steven Guerrero from OFB and Vanessa Valencia. It states in the law as well that in Chapter 17 GCA that the Guam Department of Education Financial Supervisory Commission shall consist of five regular voting members and one alternate member who shall be allowed to cast a vote only in, a, in the event of a regular voting member is absent. The EFC shall be comprised of the following members, the Director of Department Administration or Designated Representative, the Director of Bureau Budget and Management, Research, or Designated Representative, the Director of Office, Finance, and Budget, or Designated Representative, the Public Auditor, or Designated Representative, a parent of a child currently enrolled in a public school, appointed by the Chairperson of the Committee on Education of Ilas Latorn Gohan, with at least five years' experience in the public or private sector. And so, uh, if my colleagues have any question, I am questions, I am here to answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any questions on this bill, thank you.
Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Guerrero. Mr. Guerrero was asked to come forward to the, the bench, but he said that he's here in an observation, so I don't want to have any discussion, any further discussion offline so that the public cannot hear, um, but you are just here in observation. Thank you, Mr. Guerrero. Uh, Senator Kelly Marsh, tight to know. Um, it's always good to further clarify law, and especially here where there may be instances of somebody being penalized, even though they are indeed one of the members who are in attendance. So that part um, is very good. Um, do you have any information? So you outlined several months where there had not been quorum. Do you know if that fine had indeed been imposed? We, we are waiting for a uh, confirmation to see that if the members of those committees of, at that time, if the fine was imposed and how that money was utilized. Okay, that's very good. And the other part that I, that I wanted to ask about, and perhaps you have the answer, is um, is there a process for excused absences um, just to make sure that that might be part of the consideration so that somebody, if, as we know, there could be a death in the family or something more immediate, uh, but just to make sure that there's a process in place since we are amending, to make sure that that's in place so people are not being fined if the board itself agrees upon certain excused absences. Thank you very much, Senator, for that question. In 17 GCA Chapter 3, subsection Bravo 3, it says the EFC shall meet at least once per month using a generally accepted set of parliamentary procedures to govern meetings. And in the next section, it says that there must be three or four members to have a quorum. Um, and the requirement is that the, there shall be uh, five voting members. So. Just to, if at least three show up, there is a quorum, and they know that there is an expectation to meet once every month. So if there's a death in the family, there's four others that should be present. Thank you, Senator. Right, so that does allow some flexibility for those kind of considerations. That's good to hear. I'd like to thank uh, my committee members and, and the fellow senators for being here today. I'd also like to thank the observations, uh, observers for being present. Uh, I would like to, now that we have exhausted all the items on this agenda, uh, this, com this Committee on Education, Air Transportation and Statistics, Research and Planning, this public hearing is now adjourned. It is now 2.15 in the afternoon. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>